today's energy audit, we've come to Emma and Simon's three-bed semi-detached house in Westerbrook in Ashburton. It's very typical of a 1950s Cornish unit building, which are very common in the southwest. So we're going to go in and have a look and see what we can do. So we're doing energy audits of 10 homes in Ashburn. How do you think doors will fare? Uh, the windows and the doors are quite drafty, and not very well fitted, and um, there's not much insulation. To work out the energy that they're using from showering, we're going to use a very high-tech method. It requires the use of a stopwatch, a 9-litre bucket and the shower itself. So let's get going. So that's taken us one minute to fill a 9-litre bucket. So what that means is that the flow rate of the shower is nine litres a minute. And from that, we can extrapolate the annual energy that they use to have showers in the home. This it's is amazing. It's a shed. It's a shed. I love it. Uh, what great light from up here as well. What kind of electrical equipment do you have in here? Um, quite a lot of um, I've got a fan heater down here. That's probably the. Okay. How much would you use that typically in the winter? Like, yeah, just in the winter, an hour or two in the day, maybe. Well, probably more, maybe four, spread throughout the day. Okay, four hours a day. So your computer? So yeah, computer. PC, how long would that be on? That's on most of the time. So the plumber's put the thermostat right by the front door. It's yeah. a really bad place to put I thought it seemed a bit strange. <laughs> so this is in a really cold spot. You need the thermostat in a place in the house mm. where you um, want the desired house temperature. Um, so this is going to be getting cold and it's going to make your boiler work really, really hard right. and waste a lot of gas. Okay, so we've measured the flow rate of the shower. It was at nine litres a minute. That's actually not too high for showers. Some of them can be much higher than that. Also, Ruth has interviewed the, uh, the client and found out how often they use the shower um, and that turns out to be quite a lot. We've translated that to the energy use and it turns out to be about 3,200 kilowatt hours a year. That's about 15% of their total gas energy that they use in a year. So now we've completed our energy audit at Emma and Simon's house. We've got a lot of recommendations for you and here are three of them. First of all, they really need to improve the insulation in their loft. There's only 50 millimetres and they need more like 300 millimetres in there. They've got a lot of boxes and they could put loft stilts in so that they can board it out and keep those boxes up there. They need to look into moving their thermostat. It's right by the front door where it's cold and drafty, which is going to be causing the boiler to work far too hard. And finally, they need to look into insulating a lot of pipe work near their boiler, which is going to be losing a lot of heat, essentially to the outside. 